and we have to start here with the news. Actually, there there's a little news update here. Let's go to Zach in sports with the news. Well, thank you, Ryan, in, in weather. Uh, yesterday, we found out from Mike Kliss that Randy Gregory, the guy who just signed a five-year, $70 million contract, had arthroscopic shoulder surgery just a few days ago. Let's break it down. Send it back to Ryan and Weather. Oh, Zach, you don't like to hear that. Uh, it's certainly not ideal. It makes you wonder if that may have had something to do with the delayed press conference that sent ripples throughout Denver. <laughs> ripples as in the raindrops that were falling yesterday. Yes, exactly. But you're right. Uh, absolutely. That had something to do with the delay. We were actually, speaking of weather, we were told that the delay was weather related. And I remember <laughs> thinking, there's no weather that's going on here. But when George Payton says it, when Randy Gregory says it, when sources say it, you're just like, okay, they're just pushing something, whatever. I'll drop it. Theory time. Uh, sometimes when the weather gets a little bit colder, people's you know, joints uh, get a little achy, so it was weather-related. It wasn't came a to lie. Colorado, it was a little colder, mm. and he was like, man, my shoulder kind of hurts. What's going on here? <laughs> that's, what, oh, that's what caused the whole thing. Ah, and then they found on the MRI that something was astray. And so what's interesting here, Ryan, and I want your take on this, uh, obviously Randy Gregory uh, didn't take a physical or wasn't that wasn't the reason why he didn't pass with the Cowboys there was that contract language he moved on uh who knows what would have happened if it got to the physical point then he gets to Denver and he fails the physical the Broncos could have said you failed the physical and we're not signing you we don't have to uh, to to sign the contract that we agreed on because you failed the physical instead they said we want you we want you bad enough that we're going to allow this surgery to happen. We're going to kind of wave this wave, wave, wave this failed physical, and we're still going to give you the contract that we agreed upon. Is that the right thing to do? Mm. You smell that? Mm. It smells like desperation. Uh, and I thought you were going to say a pizza bet. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it smells like desperation. <sighs> I don't love that. Got to be honest, I don't love that. Now... For context, when people talk, you usually hear this about the the nicer way to put this is people say a knee scope instead of saying they had surgery on their knee. They yep. said they had their knee scoped, yep. um, which is just short for arthroscopic, however, right. you know, orthodontic. Right. Um, <laughs> yes. Getting your teeth pulled. Right, right, right. No, it's it's <laughs> essentially they need to go in there and see if something's wrong. So it doesn't even necessarily mean something is is astray or something is very wrong. It just means, hey, we need to go take a look at this. What's going on here? Um, so we don't know necessarily if there was a repair. Do we know if there was a repair that needed to be made? I don't know. The way it was phrased from Mike Kliss was that, um, that it was to make it so he could play pain-free this year. So it sounds like they had to there do something, something while they yeah. were in there. Um, and it's just... It's feels desperate to me they were late in the game on pass rushers yep. they got a guy at the last second remember this wasn't you know a clean uh signing this no. was a little bit of a dirty signing yep. they had to sweep in late and so that was already like they were they they kind of ha were desperate to get randy gregory in the first place um and then they knew that if they sent him home he was definitely going back to the cowboys yeah um and they were going to be without a pass rusher yeah now i think chandler jones signed did it, how how much longer after the randy gregory signing did he sign randy agreed with the broncos on tuesday and chandler i think signed on wednesday okay so it was too late because I doubt they flew him in on Tuesday to right. come do that. And even then, it was probably the way these things work. Like, they were too far down the road with the Raiders. They didn't want to get into a bidding war with them. Yep. So, again, to me, it's like, oh, here's our options. Get the shoulder fixed yep. or don't have – or don't sign a big pass rusher in free agency. I guess Vaughn was still out there. Yep. Um, but they, they were never interested Vaughn. in him. Yeah. So you're because he got a – 
you know, 20 something million dollars a year. Randy Gregory was 100% in the driver's seat on this because, uh, you know, he had interest from many teams because he was the guy that immediately had an offer from the Broncos right when that Cowboys deal fell through. So he knew he felt wanted. They already missed out uh, on Hassan Reddick. Randy Gregory, if they didn't get him, he was going somewhere else. You're right. Chandler Jones, it seems like he was already on the route to the Raiders and they weren't interested in Vaughn. So I think it was it was very desperate. He was the guy that had the upper hand on the Broncos, and you don't like being put in that situation. You, you don't like it, and from everything we've heard, Randy Gregory was their number one pass rusher. So he went from number one, they love him, to, oh, there's something wrong with him. We're going to convince ourselves that, yeah. that, that there's nothing wrong. And the way they're convincing themselves is he's going to be fine for the regular season, is what they're saying now. But Ryan, he's not going to be fine for April 11th, the start of the Broncos offseason workout program. He's not going to be fine for the start of OTAs, which will happen in May. He's not going to be fine this entire offseason, and the Broncos are going to push it as, it doesn't matter. He'll be fine by the start of the regular season. What we haven't heard is he'll be fine by the start of training camp. Now, maybe that'll be the case. But until he is on the field practicing every single day with no signs of this, a major concern for me because I've heard too many times these things just go under the radar. You know, the Broncos sign an injury-prone player. Ah, he's going to be fine here. Uh, uh, Randy Gregory's a very injury-prone guy. He's never played a full season in his career, and that's not even looking at the suspensions. That's looking at his injury history. Uh, so that concerns the heck out of me. And then also, remember Bradley Chubb? I know it was a little different, and, and we can go through many different players with this. Bradley Chubb had the bone spur. So Last it, year. Yes, it, it, it's a really minor deal. It, it's just going to impact in this offseason. He's going to be back. He's going to be fine for the regular season. Back for season. training camp. Right wasn't back for training camp nope. he was back for one game before another issue occurred and more bone spurs in that foot this just to me and i know a lot of people in the comment section are saying arthroscopic surgery is really really minimally invasive if it was that minimally invasive specifically this one wouldn't he be back within three months right again it we're, we're not hearing necessarily the full story i'm not saying they're keeping anything yeah. but they the really, su super quick. They were keeping something two weeks ago when they said it was a weather delay. Yes, they were. But what I'm saying is, uh, you can get a scope and be fine two weeks later, maybe right. even sooner. Right. Cinch it up, and, and as soon as that starts to heal, you're good to go. Um, but clearly, something needed to be done after the the scope. Yeah. So. I don't know whether that was, you know, I don't know how this stuff works. Did they need to remove cartilage? Was there fluid? Was there, you know, something they needed to shave down? Like right. any of that stuff, something had to be done. It wasn't just look in there. It's all good. Get out and cinch it up. So I agree with the fact that, you know, if someone gets a scope, it's not a big deal, right. but he had to have surgery. Right. Um, and so again, I want to know this. And I'm not saying there isn't one. I wish Mace was here because he would probably be able to come up with one pretty quick. Who, who's had the best season after missing in the, in the Broncos mm -hmm. organization? Who has the best season after missing the whole offseason with an injury? Because I feel like every time this happens, and I'm not trying to like sow seeds of doubt or yeah. panic or anything. I just feel like every time this happens, they have to be eased in. Yeah. They, you know, It's week five and we're like, well, all right, he's just getting his feet under him because he missed week one and two. And all of a sudden half the season's gone right. before they have their feet under them. So, you know, we started when they signed them, we basically said he's got to have double digit sacks for this to be a, yep. um, a successful signing. And now I'm just already worried. Is he going to be out there week one?